Cricket World Cup. Yes. This year. Last time we came second. Yes. How are we going to go? It's a, uh, I think England's going to win, which is, is really, because it's in England. Yeah. England are very good at the moment, particularly at one day cricket. Um, it's going to be annoying because, you know, we're, New Zealand, South Africa and England are in this great little club of being good cricket teams that have never won the World Cup. And right. I don't want to lose. I want us to be the first one to graduate out of that group. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone else has won it once and we, we're just this little group and we're like, one day. And so South Africa's never won it either. No, South Africa have never got to a final. Really? We've knocked them out of the court of the semis twice. That was one of the most disappointing ends to a season, the last Cricket World Cup, yeah. where we just flew through and did so well for the whole tournament I and know. then just went back to... I always talk about, I love cricket, right? So, yeah. uh, And I've just got Sky Sport, did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> um, New Zealand cricket team always, to me, feels like an abusive relationship. Yeah. I love you, come close. I love you, I love you. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> yeah. You know, I love you. Come close. I love you. Come close. And then yeah. it kind of feel like that. And I get and I go. Oh look, I've had enough. I can't. I get sucked back in. And then it's like, get away from me. It's been good for a while though. It has. I I agree. And that's my fickleness. Not that reflects me. Not the cricket. But, <laughs> that attitude. But you know, white ball cricket is is a hard game to win all of the time. Yeah, sure. Like no one can win all of the time. Yeah. Do you know what though? Do you know who's timing their run perfectly? Is Australia. Mm. They've just beaten India in India and Pakistan in Pakistan in one-day cricket. Did they go to Pakistan? Yeah. I didn't think teams were doing that anymore. Oh, no, they were they playing Dubai. Dubai, yeah, I was going to say. But, yeah, like Pakistan, one of the favourites as well, and they just beat them in their own backyard. So it's, uh, it's so annoying. And they get Warner and Smith back for the World Cup too. Hopefully who will be out of practice and They're terrible. <laughs> Exactly. Unlikely, <laughs> or or well rested and ready to go. Exactly. One of the two. <laughs> There's always food poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're if you're going to put a bob on, if you're going to put your heart, uh, your head bob on, it's with England. I think so. Yeah, I think it's England. England in England. This is the best English team, one day team I've ever seen. Right. They're unbelievable. As long as Joss Butler doesn't get mancated. Right. <laughs> did you, did you, did you catch I'll up explain. with that? Oh, so. And the, he play, he's playing in the IPL at the moment. Yep. Man cared is when um, you, you you run out the non-striking batsman as a bowler. So you run into bowl, but they're right. out of their crease. And yeah, you're yeah, top, top, yeah. Yeah, it's called a man cared. It's oh. named after a dude called Man cared. I'd never heard it. that term. Yeah, it's um, Mr. Man cared. Mr. Man cared. <laughs> um, yeah, Venu Man cared. That's him. Uh, Venu Man cared. Venu Man cared did it uh, to Australian. And so that it got named after him. Because it's kind of one of those weird cricket things that's... Uh, not the dumb thing. I, I remember playing cricket. Even though it's in the rules, it's yeah, but not I, the dumb I, thing. I mean, this is what we got told at school. Maybe this was just the chivalry of cricket, yeah. that you'd have to give them a warning. Yes, I you do. No, is you, that, no, is that in the rules? That you'd, they the bowler, the rules. The bowler would say, yes. you're, I, I'm warning you. Yep. So, but then again, if you're ready at Crest and I knock you off, what after why have to warn you? I knock you off so my camera on as they well. Actually, they actually changed the rules uh, a few years ago. Yeah. And not many years ago, but a couple of years ago, they changed the rules because it used to have to give a warning and now you don't. Oh, okay. So there's, um, you know, Shane Warne, you know, hysterical Shane Warne comes out on Twitter and says, you know, this is a horrible act and it's going to define Ravi Ashwin's career and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't care, man. It's in the rules. And Joss Butler's done it. He does it all the time. He's, it's, it's happened to him in an international game. It's and a batsman's game. There's too, it's too much weighted in, the, in favor of the batsman anyway. I feel the pressure going up of this conversation all of a sudden. No. <laughs> it's interesting though. I can't be funny about cricket. I can't. <laughs> I'm too, I care too much. It seems to be if you're out of your crease, mm. you're out of your crease. Why would a batsman have the right to be out of his crease? Preaching to the converted here. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> all right. And now tell me then, uh, Martin Guptal. He is. is he going to be exquisite, Play. averaging 100 during this tournament, or is he going to be averaging 20 and be a... Be plays a very well in England. Yeah, okay. Yeah, plays very well in New Zealand and England. Those are his, uh, those are his best places. He is, a, he is a bit of a situational cricketer. Um, Marvellous cricketer, but uh, New Zealand and England... Marvellous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> New Zealand and England are where, where he plays his best, yeah. And uh, is Kane Williamson the best batsman we've ever had? I'm a Ross Taylor fan, but uh, Kane Williamson's exquisite, of course. I remember Murray Deeker when Kane Williamson was like a teenager and he was doing his ZB sports show. Oh, yeah. Was saying, this boy yeah. has the best technique I've ever seen of any batsman ever in New Zealand and yeah. he will be the greatest. When he was a teenager. 
Yeah, he plays to his strengths really well. Obviously, he's not the most muscular guy in the world, mm. so he can't just you know heave the ball over the boundary like a Ross Taylor or a Martin. Gunther. Although I have this memory, I have this memory, and maybe Jace can kind of Google this. It might have been during the World Cup. Was it at Eden Park? We needed something like three or four to win off the last ball, and Kane hits a six. Oh yeah, against Australia in the World Cup. It was yeah. Australia, was it? Yeah, yeah. That was sublime. Yeah, so we'd beaten Australia in that tournament in the first game. Yeah, yeah, and then and then he needed a like a couple of runs off the last ball and then hit a six. It wasn't even the last ball; it was the fact that we were nine down and Trent Bolt was at the other end, right? And so, um, uh, and and Mitchell Stark was bowling Thunderbolts. 